Hello, it's Kamu. I'm on the Zip Crowd server here, and I think I'm going to start a series now, finally. Uh, I've been not playing Minecraft very much recently, but I decided to come on today. It's been a while. We're already in 1.5.1. Just haven't even haven't even been on the server, let alone my single player world or anything. I haven't really been playing Minecraft. Uh, felt kind of lazy. Didn't really feel like actually playing the game very much. But now I'm I'm feeling better. So we're gonna start a new series here on the Zip Crowd server. Um, you can see here we're in spawn. You've seen this probably many times already. The different uh, different members of the server have probably shown it off quite a bit. Nothing too special here. Just some farms that we set up for uh, starting out and some animals and stuff like that. A very crappy iron golem spawner and trap there. Sugar cane, pumpkins, melons. Pretty much everything we need to get started. And and a few other random stuff as well. You can see uh, Whoopi's Schweinebahn there, his pig highway, as well. So mm, not much in the spawn, I guess. Just just well, actually, there's quite a bit here, but you know, not nothing special. It's pretty plain, and it's temporary. Pretty much all of it's temporary. It's going to be replaced at some point. You can see we've already cleared out a lot of the jungle. A lot of the trees are gone. You can see, maybe you can't see, but over on the border there, there's wheat, which, ooh, lots of mobs, which marks out the edge of the chunks, and those are the spawn chunks. So, just a quick overview, I guess, of the spawn area. Some little houses that uh, Tube and Wadey and maybe Marcy built. I don't know. Anyway, that's not what I want to show you today. So today, I'm going to talk about what I'll be doing in this series. So mostly, it'll just be me playing on the server. Um, I, you know, I, what I usually do on the server, well, somebody's already started filling this in with wheat, I guess, is do all the community stuff, working together, and. Aha. Uh -huh. Useless device. It used to be a light show, but I don't know what it actually looks like because I guess it was too bright. Well, whatever. Useless device. So I, I was saying, however, um, what I usually do on the server is just do the community stuff. So you know, that's a lot of redstone and building and I'll do a little bit of that on my own, but most of it, most of what I plan to do won't be that because, you know, I'd be doing that with the community anyway. So, what I plan to do instead is sort of more of a, a building thing, a building project. Ooh, they are coming in. Okay, let's get rid of the, those guys. These skeletons, they're ridiculous now. Oh, uh, so Rob High Five. As soon as I get rid of this, well, actually I can just go ahead and sleep. I think. Probably out of range now. Um, what was I saying? Right, so for this server, I'm tra planning on doing something along the lines of like a building project because it's a different thing from what I do in my single player world and it's something that I can do on my own as not part of the community. Oh, panda's on. Hi, panda. So, oh, <laughs> he died as soon as he came in. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I've already picked out a spot where I want to start building. 
and ooh, and I'm gonna head over there now to show it to you. It's uh, kind of far, a little bit of a walk from the spawn base, but it's not too bad. Let's see, is this the right direction? I need to go positive X, positive Z. Oh, so that way. Yeah. So let's walk out this way. So as I said, not particularly far away. It's a bit of a hike though. About a thousand, uh, thousand meters. Not a thousand kilometers. Oh. Philip's on as well. It's um something different than what I'm doing in my single player world. Single player world I went to a completely snowy area and this time I picked a desert area, so it's a a bit extreme opposite, I guess you could say. But something different, something new. Oh Panda. Whenever he's uploading he has uh issues because he lags. Uh, he doesn't have very high-speed internet, so like you see him warping around all the time when he's playing. It's pretty funny to watch, actually. So about halfway there now. It's not too far. I mean, they're they're further walks from the main base. Probably too far to put a an overworld rail, but maybe maybe in the future we can connect it up just for the fun of it. Some interesting extreme hills on the way, but I'm more interested in the desert. I like this desert as well because it has, um, <laughs> yeah, 1300 minutes for Panda's upload. That's ridiculous. Poor Panda. I think he said something about better internet, or maybe I dreamed of it. I don't know. It's about time that he gets better internet. More of this extreme hill stuff. Lots of sheep, which I will take advantage of probably. Oh, 300 deaths! <laughs> wow, good job. Yeah, we have the, the scoreboard up now, so we can see... Oh, lots of pumpkins too. We can see how many times people have died. Oh. Uh, I guess I've done pretty well, only 13 compared to Panda, but uh, I also haven't been playing on very much. Um, it took only about the first week, and then this last week, second week, I haven't really played very much. So, Hey, a floating island. I think I missed that the first time I came through here. Maybe I'll make use of that. Uh, connect it up to my base for some reason. I don't know. Like I said, I'm planning on trying something, some sort of building project. I don't really know what I have in mind yet. Um, be experimenting with figuring out, figuring out a style first, but you know, for the time being, I just want to to show you where it is, sort of give an idea of what it looks like. You can see there's the desert over there, and you can probably see the portal now. It's just Ender Pearl over there. I just set up a few things here. Got a chest set up. You can see my inner chest has a few things just to get me going. And I brought a few things over as well. Uh, nothing particularly useful, just stuff to get started. So, yeah. Here is the desert. It's it's pretty nice. Let me, let me get some netherrack and pillar up so you can see an aerial view of what it looks like. I like it. Um, floating sand. Let's go, go, go. And I like this one um, in particular because it connects to, like, well, first of all, it's got this river going through it, which is pretty neat. But then it also connects to, like, 
uh, well, I guess you can't see from here, but further out there, there like, there's a village. You can sort of see the border of the village, and then beyond that, there's swamp, extreme hills, taiga, um, uh, like there are like six different biomes connecting up. So it's kind of neat. Maybe I'll be able to see them. I don't know. I, I probably won't build the center of my base here. Probably a little deeper in. This will be like the entry part of the village. So you, know, you, you can see. Or not. Well, it might be a village. I don't know. But entry part of what I'm building. We'll see. Anyway, sort of loaded up a little bit. You can see some trees in the background there. Might be part of a jungle. So extreme hills, swamp, jungle, taiga. And then plains or forest, I think, and then something else very uh, on the far end over there as well. So pretty cool. I like it. I think it's a good place to start. Lots of open space, lots of sand too. I, I mean, I'll flatten a lot of this, I guess. But hopefully, people won't come and steal the sand. Looks like there's some sand missing, but I don't think somebody stole it. I think it was just missing. You go check. Um, if people need sand for glass, then hopefully they'll go further out because I don't want to lose too much sand from the desert. Mm -hmm. I think this is just missing sand. I don't think anybody stole it, but I could be wrong. Um... Is that a desert temple? No. Yeah, I think there's a desert temple somewhere nearby as well, but not not really sure. Anyway, thought it was a nice place, so that's what I picked. It's also different from what I did before, so hopefully, be a good place. To, uh, it'll be a good place to start, and it'll be interesting. So. If you have any names for it, let me know. Well, I guess sort of have to have a theme first as well, but yeah, just thinking if you have any ideas. Anyway, let's hop into the nether portal here and uh, we can take a look at the location nether-wise on the nether side, see how that links up as well. Right, so in the nether here, you can see this is the portal. It is actually pretty close. Um, I need to be careful here, I don't know how much of this has been built up since I left. Looks like not very much. But you can see my place here. Oh, James is there. I wonder if anybody's up over there. I don't know. but. I'm here. James is there. This is the way to the stronghold. Probably seen the stronghold al already. Many times, I'm guessing. I'll show it off just in case you haven't. But yeah, stronghold here. Panda's place. Oh, looks like he did something. I won't. I won't show too much of that. Um, oh, it's just an ice way. Okay. Well, won't talk about that too much. Uh, this is to the witch hut perimeter, which we're working on probably have seen that in Philip's videos. Um, and then the stronghold, of course. Which, oh, zombie. End portal there. Silverfish farm, which is currently just a, a dinky little experience farm. Our friend Barry with a bone. Oh, somebody took the diamonds out of there. There were almost two stacks of diamonds. Diamond ore blocks. I guess somebody decided to uh, use a fortune pick on them or something. It's alright. We've got plenty of diamonds in the world. We'll find many on our own. Pandas under ch chest, please do not touch. Panda being funny. So yeah, that's it. That's the pretty much what we have right now. Um, Sir Rob Hi-Fi, 
Ganon and I also lit up this end island. Um, we also built the Enderman farm here, which you've probably seen if you've watched JL Server Tour. But that's about all there is in this world, I guess. I don't think we've done very much other than the uh, the perimeter in the swamp, which is just really digging out and lighting up caves. Speaking of which, I have a map somewhere. The map, I can show you the perimeter, let me see, if I have it in my ender chest. Uh, nope, not in my ender chest. I guess it's... Oh, there's a helmet there. I guess it's in the... Uh, the chest that I set up outside of my base. But anyway, yeah. That's all there is, really, for now. Just want to give an introduction, talk about what I'm planning on doing here, um, show you where I'm planning on starting, and that's about all for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about it, my plans a little bit and seeing the server, and I hope you got an idea of the distance from spawn and, and the perimeter and everything for my... Uh, where I'm planning on setting up. Oh, Iron Golem. Aha. So, yep, that's all for this episode. Once again, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.